What's up fellow Bleep and Jeepers? This is Matt with the YouTube channel Bleep and Jeep. Today I want to show you how to take your cheap $12 Pittman arm puller and turn it into a $50 Pittman arm puller for free. First though, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. So I got this on Amazon for about $12. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's an OEM Tools Pittman Arm Puller Part Number 25262. So I guess first what we should talk about is what is a Pittman Arm Puller? A Pittman Arm Puller basically pulls your Pittman Arm. So what it is, is you've got your steering gearbox, right? So your steering gearbox is what uh, takes input from your steering wheel and tells your wheels which way to turn. So all that runs through your steering gearbox. You have a shaft coming out and then that uh, Pittman arm gets bolted to the shaft and you've got a nut down here. And then this turns back and forth which takes the drag link and the tie rod and turns your tires, okay? so. Um, when you need to change your Pittman arm, or you need to take this off for any other reason, uh, you have to use the Pittman arm puller to pull it because there is a nut that comes off of the bottom of here, but it's been on there so long and it's kind of wedged up on there that it's really difficult to get off. Sometimes they're rusted on. So, you've probably seen me use one of these. You put it on here, and there's that shaft that comes down. It kind of looks like this, and you use this and you turn it and it, what it does is it pulls the Pittman arm down at the same time pushing the shaft up so that it separates the two. So the problem with these cheap pullers though is that if this thing is stuck on here really tight um, what will happen, and I'll inlay a photo or a video of this right here because you've seen it, me do it before, but what happens is when you start cranking down on that tight and this thing is stuck it pulls so hard that these arms start to bend outwards and what will happen is it will bend so far out that it will just slip right off. So what, what you can do is you can buy a $50 one of these that has a, like a cone. It's fully encased on one side and open on the other side and that way it won't separate. But instead of paying $50, let's make this into something similar. So to make this better, all we need to do is keep it from separating right there. What you can do is find a piece of angle iron like this and just cut a slice out of it until you get something like this. Now if you don't have a piece of angle iron, you could use a piece of tube and just cut it in half. Or you could just use two pieces of straight section like this and this and just weld them together at the top here. So all we need to do now is uh, weld this up. First thing we'll do is clean up the surfaces real good so we'll get a good weld. Now it's important to realize the reason I'm not going just straight across is because uh, the Pittman arm end needs to go into that little hole. So if you did this straight across, it wouldn't be able to get on there all the way. So it needs to kind of go around like that. Okay, now when you go to pull your Pittman arm next time, there is no chance that this cheap tool is going to spread apart um, because of the force, because now we've got this holding it all together. So you can put a whole bunch more pressure on here without it falling apart. Now another thing that you should know is once you get that really tight on there, what you can do is just take a hammer and whack it, and that will usually break it free. A lot of times you won't be able to get it tight enough for this tool itself to pull it off. But once you do get that tight, just give it a few whacks and it should pop loose. Okay guys, well that's it. Now if you don't have a welder, ask a buddy for some help. If not, I'll leave another link in the description below for a cheap welder that we recommend. But uh, it's pretty simple. 
and straightforward and you can make that cheap tool into an expensive tool for little to no cost. All right, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.